Good morning, MF Global Trader John Caruso coming to you here from the Chicago Board of Trade. Today is Monday morning, October 17, 2011. Here for your uh, currency and, uh, and interest rate commentary. Uh, we did see over the weekend uh, G20 meeting that failed to produce anything of any substance towards uh, the Eurozone uh, debt crisis. Right now we have the dollar running higher. It's up 34 ticks at 77.25. Um, all eyes are on Europe this week. Um, there is another Greek austerity uh, vote uh, coming out this week, and you also have the EU and the IMF uh, finalizing plans for the Eurozone uh, rescue, uh, their debt crisis, the rescue plan. Uh, right now the Euro is down 100 ticks right now, 137.70. Uh, I am still skeptical taking a look at the charts as to whether or not uh, this is the top in the market. I still feel we could extend to 139. Uh, and possibly 140 towards the end of the week, uh, depending on what the, uh, the EU can come up with as far as the rescue plan. Um, I will say this, however, uh, the commitment of traders report from last week uh, is showing that the non-reportable net short position in the euro has hit a new record high. Uh, so it appears as if uh, the market is starting to look at, uh, at more downside in the euro. Uh, but uh, we do need to, uh, the EU and the IMF, they do need to finalize the plans uh, as far as a rescue uh, plan is concerned. Um, first level of support in the euro, we are through that. We saw it at 138, uh, and then we saw another support bar down at 137.80, and next stop 137.60, which uh, we are approaching that very quickly this morning. Uh, switching over to the Japanese yen, we're catching a little bit of a bid right now. It's up 20 ticks at 129.82. I still am predominantly bearish this market. I feel the next big move will be to the downside in the Japanese yen, and that was further backed uh, by the uh, Bank of Japan minutes last week, uh, where they didn't make comments stating that uh, further action towards helping their or forcing their currency lower uh, could uh, could come into play here. In the near in the uh, in the near term, so I still am predominantly bearish the Japanese yen. I have a downside target at 126. I don't feel we're going to see any significant breakout to the upside, but for the most part, we're going to trade in a range here for the next uh, several sessions. Uh, going to the interest rates, 30-year up 10 ticks right now, 138.23. 10-year uh, up 9 ticks, 128.13. We've got some weakness in the stock market this morning, uh, so you're seeing some. Uh, uh, you've seen the bonds catch a little bit of a bid. Uh, however, on the charts, it appears as if we have seen a top, uh, you know, especially here in the near term for the 30-year and the 10-year. But all eyes are on the stock market. All eyes are on Europe. Uh, if there, things do turn sour once again in Europe, uh, you will see the, uh, the U.S. Uh, bond market catch a bid back to the upside and back towards their highs uh, well up over 140 on the 30 years. So that's all I have for you this morning. Feel free if uh, you want to give me a call, 1-800-445-0567. And remember, trading futures and options carries risk. It may not be suitable for all investors.